So here we have another video, another short one, as always, by the handphone. We've gotten three more holes of insulation to do the rest of the shed. We've got more insulation to go on the wall to cover it up. And uh, back to CNC project. We've got the cable on and we've redesigned the, the clip. So it screws in there and screws in there. I just had this handy for quickness. I will order another piece of metal to go there so it looks good. But for now, that will do the job because it's just holding wires. But if you notice, it slants off over there. So if I go like that, I can't reach because it's not real far right over there. And let's get it to come to me. Right. I'm reaching now. So I've got now to get the top chain to work. So that touches this end. We've still got plenty of play there. And obviously it touches that end. And it's got plenty of still got enough play to work. So getting that sorted. I thought it would be a waste of cable chain to go along here. For all I could use it. And put it on. To make it look nice but i thought it'd be a waste so now i'm just going to do this one and right yeah for that chain but if you noticed here yeah, that's a bit off so i need to make it come out a bit so it's this far over so it's square because it's bends in so we need to adjust the clip so it comes over more so it's lined up just to make me happy but uh Thanks for watching. Sorry for boring you all. But uh, this is what I do. It's what I like to do. And uh, it's all been learned from 3D printing from 2015. We've got all that to build tomorrow or the day after to get them moving. On the motors, you have to wire this motor adjacent to that motor because it'll just go like, it'll just twist itself if you don't so it was a mistake i made when i was younger so whatever wiring configuration on that side you just reverse the wiring configuration on this side and that makes this go that way and it makes that go that way but if you don't it does like a twist around and it snaps itself so be careful with that yeah uh, this has still got a weak the weak access on for the z if no for the x this is the x carriage but i have got a new X carriage here, but I've increased the thickness of it. So as you can see here, the wall's thicker. But on there, I haven't put no support on the back. So on this one, it stops it from flexing because the flex. You can see the flex if I if I could do that. You can see the flex, but that's won't have as enough, won't have as much flexing because of them supports I put in. So we should get that sorted. Why did I pick orange? Because it stands out against the aluminum. And uh, I'm thinking about doing a DeWalt one with DeWalt Road all over it in yellow. That'll be a future project. Uh, shed stroke studio is coming on. Once you get a partition wall between the 3D printers and uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, got some lights, LEDs, tell us what you think of the lighting. They look okay. Sound probably needs fixing. I always sound like I've got a croaky voice, so just do that talk. From Newcastle, England. But uh, I notice I get a lot of uh, Canadian watches. So you Canadian people must be making some uh, CNCs over there. So get your 3D printer in action. All the files are available. If you need any help, drop me a message and I'm sure I'll help you. Not a problem whatsoever. Thanks for viewing. Subscribe for future videos. Doing a garden landscaping project as well at the moment. So full of busy. Full of lots to do every day. Just how we like it.